This is a wonderful, amazing prayer that was um, said by Adam Harishon, the first man, that he was prayed in the time he went out, was exiled, excommunicated from the Garden of Eden, till Hashem sent this wonderful book, which book is it? It's called Raziel Amalach, the book that was given by Raziel, the angel that is appointed on all secrets of Hashem. So he was, that book was given to the first man by Raziel the angel. And Adam Arishon begged in front of Hashem and he said, Hashem, the God of the universe, you created the whole world to increase your glory. And you established this world, you made it as you wanted and your kingship is eternal. That's what the Tashem, uh, that's what Adam Rishon is saying in the first part. Your glory is for the generations and there is nothing that is hidden and mysterious from you. Nothing is hidden, covered from your eyes. You set me, created me, Bemaseyadecha, in the actions of your hands, and you appointed me to be in charge on all your creations, to be the ruler on all your creation. And the wicked snake convinced me, misled me in the tree of lust and desire, and as well that my wife made me fail in that sin as well. And you have not told me what's going to happen to me and my children, what's going to happen to us in the coming up generations after me. And I know that there is no creation that is more righteous than you, that is right when you are like blaming, when you are judging us. What is my power to dare and stand against you? Who am I? And my mouth cannot answer and cannot speak. I cannot look at you even to argue with your judgment. And the only thing that caused me my sorrow is my sins and my crimes. And because of it, I was exiled from the Garden of Eden. And today I need to suffer working in the land and to achieve my, uh, to find my food from the ground that I was taken from, that I was created from. And because of the sin, the light of Adam Rishon, of the first man, was not as it was in the beginning. So he's saying that the creations, the rest of the creations, are not respecting and honoring him as they were in the beginning. So now he's in danger, in great danger. Because from the time that he ate from the Garden of Eden, from the time that I ate from the tree of knowledge, from the fruit that was forbidden in eating, and I violated your words, my wisdom was taken away from me. And I became like an animal, don't know anything, does not understand what's going to happen. So please, merciful Father, come back with your great mercy to me, to the crown of your creation. And have mercy on the spirit that you gave me and the soul that you planted inside of me. Bring your mercy towards me because you are kind and patience and full of grace. May my prayer rise in front of your throne of honor and my roar will stand in front of your seat of mercy, throne of mercy. And spare me and have mercy for me. And may my words be accepted by you and you will not ignore my begging. And you will always going to be the ruler and the king of the world. Please have compassion on your actions and help me to understand and to know what's going to happen with me and the next generations and what will happen to me in each day and day and each month and month. And don't hide the wisdom of your angels from me. That's the simple prayer of the first man, Adam Rishon when he was rejected from the Garden of Eden. Emuna Project is a non-profit organization. To support this work, please make a purchase from our online store or donate through emuna.com. Thank you.